behind. Benick, sharp angle shot, he scores! Joey Benick from an from the moment the class of 2016 stepped on the ice at St. Cloud State, they added a magic spark to Husky hockey. We knew they had talent, um, and, and all of them were recruited because of their talent. A group who led in points as a class in college hockey in only their sophomore year. You just you don't you don't know when it's going to go off, and, and it went off very early. You know, the, I always go back to Drew LeBlanc coming in that year, saying, you know, Coach, really, you're going to play me with two freshmen? And I said, trust me, let's see if this works. And then Johnny Brodzinski, 22 goals, and Kosla, 37 points, and Drew won the Hobie Baker, pretty much played the entire year with two freshmen. Um, that kind of set the stage of what that, that, that class was capable of doing. You never know coming in how, how you're going to be as a class, but I think uh, when we all got in, we knew that we had a lot of talent and uh, a lot of skilled guys in our class that, that had the ability to be big time players. and. We were kind of thrown into those roles right away and kind of just just ran with it. And it's been, been good ever since for our class and everybody. From helping the Huskies to their first ever Frozen Four appearance in 2013, to the NCHC Frozen Face Off in 2015, this senior class has seen it all. What I said to them a year ago is this senior class probably could go down as one of the most successful classes in school history and it came very easy for them as freshmen, sophomores, you know, two conference championships their first two years, a Frozen Four, uh, back at it, three straight region finals, that they needed to come into this year and not take a leadership role and think they had to do anything different. What they needed to be was just great hockey players. While currently tied for number one in the NCHC, the senior class has led this team to an 11-3 record coming off of a sweep against the Minnesota Gophers last weekend. It was a weekend where our seniors needed to put the, a series on their shoulders, and they're capable of doing it, and, and they responded. That's one thing that Motsko said when we, when we were going into that series. He said the young guys have to match their young guys, and they don't have many older guys, so our older guys need to step up and, and take control of the game, and, and, and that kind of stuck with us, I'd say, and, and then that's what we did. Nearing the halfway point of the season, the senior class continues to lead the team in the right direction. It's kind of one of those things that our seniors have been there and done that before and we know how to how to go on the road and kind of take care of things so that's one of those things that it's got to start with our senior class and trickle down all the way down to the freshmen so then they can kind of get it in their system of how we do it and uh, hopefully they can take it through the rest of the years of their career. Nearing the halfway point of the season, the senior class continues to lead the team in the right direction.